Okay, YouTube, I want to talk to you guys today about casters. So, uh, in an alignment, you've seen my video where, you know, a couple pieces of wood with tape measures through them, bungee corded to the wheels, you can set your toe. Um, that worked out great. Camber is how the wheel tilts, uh, like, toward the car or away from it. Um, you know, this is basically negative camber when it's toward the car or positive camber when it's away from the car. But caster, caster has to do with the angle. If you were to look at like the kingpin or a line through the uh, bottom ball joint and top ball joint, caster is the degree to which it tips back or forward. Uh, think of a shopping cart, the, the, the wheel is kind of behind the pivot point that is connected to the cart and that allows the wheels to turn really easy, but if you run with the shopping cart, they wobble. Um, if you look at a bicycle or a motorcycle, it's an extreme opposite where the, uh, the wheel is way out in front of the pivot where it's connected to the vehicle. So it has extreme stability at high speeds. That's why you could take your hands off the handlebars, but you really couldn't turn the handlebars. You got to lean to turn the bike. So caster in a car, most modern cars, they incorporate caster like a bicycle, but not as extreme. Um, we're working here on a 1950 Chevy and the specifications call for very vague back then, uh, plus or minus half a degree of caster. But to give this car a little bit more speed stability, that is to give it a little bit more of a, of a steady steering wheel at a higher speed at the expense of steering ease and parking lots, we're probably gonna go with about two degrees um, caster this way. But the way to find that, and that's what I wanted to show you here, I took a board and I leaned it against the tire and made sure that it was you know evenly across and I marked the line on the ground with the blue tape here. Then using a protractor, I made 20 degrees and 20 degrees. To find caster on a car, you use, this is a, a very inexpensive uh, camber gauge and it works very well. You, you wanna put this flat on your hub. If you're working with disc brakes, stick it on the disc. This car, of course, the um, there's nowhere to really put it with a magnet, so I got a channeled piece of steel here and it, and it creates a flat surface for it. I'm gonna actually, um, JB Weld some magnets on there and, and keep it with the tool here. But the idea is you're going to turn the wheel out. So the wheel, whether you're working on the passenger side or the driver, the wheel is turned out first. And you are going to set, you're going to make sure your gauge is level with this. And you're going to set your uh, camber with the, the knurled knob on the back. You're going to set that to zero. And then you're going to turn the wheel 20 degrees in. So, of course, the, the, the board would line up with this tape the second time and this one the first time. You're going to turn your wheel 20 degrees in, and then whatever that, that uh, reading says, having been set to zero while it was turned out, uh, whatever that says, that's your caster. And, of course, you know, on a vehicle like this where there's what's called a pivot pin, um, as you turn the pin on the top of the, the king pin where it attaches to the top control arm, you turn that pin, you're, it's, it's threaded, so it's moving the whole entire pivot forward and back, and as it does it, it's rotating it in and out as it goes forward and back. So your caster and your camber are connected in a, you know, in a, in a relatively old school vehicle like this. But you know, really, the purpose of this video was to show you how to measure and how you could do this. This is a $15 gauge off of eBay. They have nicer ones that are about 100 bucks. but point is, this, this tool, it's just a bubble level. Um, you could check its accuracy, uh, you know, with with water in a in a clear container. You can check it with a with with a level that you trust. But you know, point is, it's a fifteen dollar tool, a protractor, um, some tape, and a little bit of ingenuity. And you know, you can you can get really really good results uh, at home. They sell uh, these plates called turn plates where you park the car on them and it allows you to to, to rotate the tires really easily and it shows you the angle. Those are about two hundred bucks. Um, you know, but point is you can do an alignment at home. So this is how you tackle caster, the most difficult one. And again, camber is pretty easy. You just have to have the, the device stuck to the hub and just measure, you know, make sure it's, it's uh, calibrated to zero when you start on a flat surface and, and measure it. Um, so anyways, hopefully this helps. It's, you know, not exactly a very straightforward process. If you got any questions, ask me. I'm by no means an expert, but I've done my own alignments and they work great. So if this helps you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I always got, you know, crazy DIY stuff going. So um, yeah, God bless. Take care.